Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Today we're at the uh, Texas City Dyke. It's a five mile long structure that extends out into Galveston Bay, so it makes it perfect to go after black drum. It is February 1st, so this is really known as our black drum run, and uh, really? we've got some live blue crab that we're gonna be soaking out here in the water. We've got the big setups again. Let's see what happens. Get a uh, good chop on them. Was that one at the top or at the bottom? Hmm. Somebody has the right idea. Think that's fine? Uh. Yeah. That's pretty in there. It's just a little. Oh, yeah, that's good. Forward face. Yeah, you're good. We are just loosen our drag and just like that, y'all. It's gonna be a weight game now. So we got two styles: little strips and then the orange long strips. So we'll go with these since they're already open right now. I'm gonna go with three of them. Set up, ready to go. Let's get this guy cast out there. We should have brought that third rod holder, son. Huh? Should have brought that third rod holder. Yeah. I didn't think of it either. I'm gonna use the uh, truck. We're gonna do a uh, quick three hour update, maybe, something like that. We just got had the big setup out there with live crab, came back in when we were checking it and uh, there was nothing on it. So, whoa, these guys got a mind of their own. Um, I'm gonna get this fella cut in half and then we'll rebate and get back out there. So here's what we're talking about. This is all we were left with, the uh, lump crab meat right there. I'm gonna, I think I should just leave that on. Maybe we'll save it actually. I'm not gonna save that. I actually will. That's just solid meat. All right. Let's get this guy back out there. This guy put away now, but it's ready in case you want to yeah. swap out. As soon as one of them, like if the fish bites catch something, well then 
obviously I'll keep those on but if we get one with the crab I'm gonna jump ship and throw a crab on the smaller setup whoa bro how are you even alive still dude both of these guys they should be frozen uh oh I think I think I got something It's uh, right here. Yeah, I, he's, uh-oh, yeah. Yeah, that's him. Oh, y'all, I think it's been well over five hours that we've been out here fishing now, and the last time that I updated y'all, I, uh, was putting on a new crab because my first one had got taken and I didn't see my line do anything whatsoever. Yeah, he's he's running into that line right now underneath it. And so I sat right here on the rocks right there where my son is standing and uh, holding on to the rod so that I can feel the subtle bites that these black drum are doing and look at this fella no that's a black drum oh yeah you're right, you're right. oh Here, let me do the man you can put that camera away now just so that we can get the uh what do you call it the, the net nice <sighs> thank you oh boy oh boy go ahead and put it down you can put that in your rod order yeah thank you mm -hmm. situate that other rod. there we go there we are get the net out the way here, here. thank you here. Right now. Sorry, son. And he's good to go, ready to be released. It's not that deep out here where we're fishing, probably a good eight feet, if that. So. You want me to hold him and pass him to you? Um, I'll just uh, put him down right here and then go down there. Nonetheless, it makes the trip worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> that makes the trip worth it. I don't know if I want to cut another crab up or do we want to save them for tomorrow? Well, that settles the, uh, settles the debate on fish bites or crab because Christian's crab ended up coming off the hook as well and so we're thinking that them black drum right there are crushing it and spitting it back out without letting us know making any movements on that rod tip so they're swimming up on it and uh, just having their way with it so I don't know that may be the play actually holding on to it we've got roughly an hour and a half before our sunlight goes away Hopefully we get another bite on this fella right here, or even better, I'd be completely surprised if that setup right there on the truck actually goes off with the fish bites. That would be pretty crazy. All right, let's talk about the setup that we're using. It's a 11 foot long, two inches, two piece rod from Old 18 Outfitters. 
and I've got a 10,000 series spinning reel with approximately 250 yards of 76 or 78 pound braid and a ginormous 300 pound monofilament leader with a seven knot sized circle hook and a six ounce spider weight. That's so that it can anchor itself out there whenever the currents start ripping through. All together, one heck of a pack a punch for these big fish. Oh, you're not supposed snapped. to set it. You're not snapped. supposed to set it I don't like know, that. I just got too excited, I guess. Oh no. That just felt like my uh, what is it called? My leader just came off. Man, that really sucks. Oh no, my leader, my top shot is still there. Going go up, up for going tension. Up super hard. Yeah, going up super hard for tension. Oh, that is a rookie mistake. That's a clean break, though. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. We have run out of daylight, and it's time to get out of here. The mosquitoes are starting to come out and get us. Uh, nothing really touched the remainder of the crab that we had, but nonetheless, we had a, a decent day. Whenever you can come out and catch a fish during the dead of winter, that's always a plus. I do thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're interested in the stuff that we use, the gear, that's going to be listed in my video description down below. So like the rods, the reels, the brand names and whatnot. That can be all found down there. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.